Back with Mulgoat Kirby, except now he's doing a level 400 invocation raid. The sound effects are from his chatters. We didn't add them. Chats were trying to get me killed. <laughs> oh my god, Chat, we did it. 400 invocation cleared. Let's freaking go, finally. Unfortunately, it's a white chest, but well done for a 400 clear. That's insane. Today we are spotlighting an amazing achievement. The world record highest invocations ever recorded at 500, done by Port Kazard. One of my favorite methods he's doing is very slowly killing Zebak by swimming away in the croc infested waters, eating purple sweets to heal up, then casting vengeance every 30 seconds until Zebak dies. I'm guessing this took at least an hour. We won't feature his whole video here, but as always, feel free to check out our creators with the links in the description below. Gregstar's parents are sleeping, so he has to whisper. Bo has some trouble with Baba's rolling ball special. I'm not gonna make that. Damn. That's a smackin'. Please don't die on Baba, bro. I was pretty sure I clicked that, like, tw oh my gosh, no way, bro. No way all of that just happened. What the hell happened? What was that? George goes into multi and runs into this noob. Oh my God, am I actually gonna go? <laughs> he just got bare f***ed. Whoa, the bear's f***ing me up. Oh my. That's ruined my day. I'm gonna die trying to freaking fix this inventory up, dude. This sucks. Inventory management. It's a very difficult skill to learn. No, I think I got it. No, I don't. I freaking knew I was gonna die trying to fix the inventory up, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm not thinking. Bro, I just have too much stuff going on in my freaking inventory, bro. What the f is That's happening right. in my inventory right now? Uh Similarly, No Monkey describes his gripes with the supply bag you get from the raid. Okay, when a projectile is on the screen, anywhere. In Zebak, Akka, anywhere, you can't open the bag. It will not open. If you have the bag open in one of those rooms and a projectile appears, it will close. Excellent. When you're dragging items around the bag, it's not snappy. It's not responsive. It takes a full two ticks to move a single item to another spot. So for all the people who say, <laughs> just reorganize the bag. It takes two ticks per item you want to move. You gotta move the ambrosia up to the top Move the weapon. Adrenaline pots up to the top and move a brew and a restore up to the top. This takes a minimum of 14 ticks to do all this. Okay, now that you've done this, you actually plot one ambrosia and you hit resupply and it deletes the other one. The bag is the worst part of the raid. It may not seem like it matters much, but for high invocation raids and for speed runs, the bag mechanics make a big difference, as you can tell. Let us know what you think JGX should do in the comments below. Uh. Oh my god! 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 Oh no! Oh, I got a sigil, but it's a fucking spectral! No! Is that here? Surely, nice. Oh my goodness, guys. Pog, how much did we get? What the f, bro? I just started the stream. 82 mil, just like that. Sick Nerd puts his hardcore on the line once again. Fine. Ran out of prayer. Good telly. <laughs> it's fine. Dude was minding his own business doing Wilderness Slayer when he gets hit by a team. They got me. <clears throat> I'm not escaping. I'm out of food. And he's dead. Ouch. GG's, boys. Well, now he's made a return and the same team finds him again. Main. However, this time he has a super combat potion in his inventory. Yeah.
Killed one. Misclicked the spec bar and still got the kill. Sweet revenge. Zebek is a zero damage room, so why would I do? Why would I bother? Okay. Okay. Hold up. Pisak sends an entry mode raid to practice insanity invocation. <laughs> Let's go! A Fang on 80 invocation. Damn, that's lucky. I do have a, I do have a lot of clips that I can. Uh... <gasps> Yo! Run! It's an ultimate! It's an ultimate Iron Man! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro. Oh! I killed an ultimate! I killed an ultimate! Oh my god! What is gonna be in that key, bro? <laughs> Whale is on his ultimate Iron Man when he sees a purple chest. All right, well, let's see what we got. <laughs> hey, yo! The Shadow of Tumikin. Damn. That's an incredible achievement on an ultimate. And it looks like he's collected two of each raid's rarest item. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Soon. Oh my fucking god, are you fucking kidding me? On the back to back? My cows isn't stacking, so I mean, why not go for it? Dying on my hard cry, man. Bro! It would have been the best kill of my life, man! If only he clicked the teleport one tick sooner, he would have profited a 500 mil. Ouch. Ranger Fane messes up insanity skulls, so he has to think on his feet. He skips the wipe mechanic by running towards the center of the blast. Quick thinking there, well done. Oh my god, what a move! Good fight! No way I got him like that. Huh. This guy's in my clan, but he wants to fight. You know what? I'll fight him. You're kidding. What is it with people's RNG today? No Monkey is speedrunning expert mode Tombs of a Masket. He uses a bug with the Spellbook Swap spell. Something about the animation stall stops the dung from appearing. The dung doesn't make a complete line, so he can travel between both sides of Kefri freely. A really neat trick to use. Well done. It's skill specs versus pure spam in a suspenseful 1 billion GP deathmatch. Who will take home the gold? Alright, good luck, Ian. Oh, whatever. Okay. Okay, so I've given him free pit by accident, chat. I did, I bro. Obviously, I didn't tell him not to spam click me as I come out, but I, yeah, it's all right, bro. He's my friend. The ah, fucking three. Dying. Yes. Oh my god. Sorry. Okay. Watch Games is at Chaos Altar with his team when this unsuspecting noob logs in right in front of them. Everybody what? on enjoy! Venge, 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 he's barraging. Venge, venge, they're barraging. He's frozen, he's frozen, he's frozen. Until it seems the guy has some backup. Oh, everybody on lock, everybody, everybody on lock. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> and in another perspective, we can see the full extent of that opposing clan. Oh, oh yes. what the f that's Rot. See, that's Rot right there. Yeah, look at their names. Look at their names. That's Rot, yeah, bro. See, that's Rot. In RuneScape news this week, Arcane talks about solo tombs of a masket reward potential. Um, so we very carefully made this like, all sizes are very, very viable. In terms of like drops, it's very linear in that regard. If you add an extra person, it effectively doubles your drop chance to a certain extent. What isn't linear, however, though, is the kills per hour. Your raids should get proportionally faster with each additional person you add into your group. The solos have been intentionally made slightly worse uh, to incentivize group play. Essentially, solos are probably slower GP per hour than team raids because they take longer. Now a question, do deaths matter? It 
does uh, it does feel group as well, but more so for the player that died. It's similar to Chambers of Zarek in that regard, where if you die, you lose some points. Technically reduces the overall loot potential of the party, but proportionally it only affects you. Also, ornament kits and pet dust come out on Thursday, unlocked only through expert mode raids. Stay tuned for those. That's a wrap for today's RuneScape Chronicles. Tap that like button to support the team, and we'll see you in the next edition.